From comics to the big screen, the superhero genre has exploded off the page. No longer just a part of subculture, it is now mainstream. But anything that becomes mainstream has a tendency for things to become commercial and stale. For this reason, I'm not a big fan of most of the mainstream superhero stuff being produced. But this series is a fucking masterpiece. It's called Invincible. At first glance, this might look like your average superhero teen drama. It's definitely not. It's pastiche. Similar to parodies and satire, these works are only made possible when the same tropes, or storytelling methods, have been overused so much that the typical patterns become boring and painfully easy to spot. These tired, overused plot devices just become an easy target to make fun of. But Invincible is self-aware. They know fans have gotten bored and are looking for something fresh and new. Look at The Guardians, for example. Could a more generic group of superheroes even exist? They're just begging to get their asses kicked, hopefully by a much cooler bad guy. Out with the old school, make way for the new kids. Invincible puts a postmodern spin on the superhero comedy drama. Check this out. When the character Adam Eve is asked why she doesn't wear a mask, she simply says, It's a psychology thing. If you don't expect to see a superhero in your school, you don't see a superhero in your school. Hmm. Unsatisfactory answer? Absolutely. In any other medium, this would be just lazy writing. But since this is a moment of parody, poking fun at one of the biggest plot holes in the superhero genre, it works perfectly. Don't get me wrong, there are very real human problems to be explored through these characters, but that tired old trope just wasn't one of them. The writing is on point. A character hurls a trash bag into space in the middle of one episode, and it lands in a foreign country in the next, long after the audience has forgotten about it. That's plot development. Millennials and Gen Z now have the purchasing power to pay for the products of culture that they want to see produced. Production companies like Amazon's media division can open up their animation budget and pander to an older crowd instead of to children and still make a profit. This show may be officially marketed towards the 18 to 35 year old demographic, but even so, Younger people than that will still get the benefit of getting to watch this masterpiece because now that it's out there, many are going to watch it anyways. And when children who really are too young finally do become of age, Invincible will be there waiting for them. Until recently, most animated projects like this couldn't even get made because they weren't considered advertiser friendly. Look at these unfortunate examples from popular anime. Censorship waters down real-life situations, rendering them unrelatable to real people. Kids don't want this. But of course, censorship is not actually for kids. It's usually for adults, for the peace of mind of helicopter parents. Invincible is explicit without trying to be edgy, dark, or provocative. The truth is, high school kids use profanity in real life. People sit on the toilet. They go to parties and drink alcoholic beverages. And if a huge battle amongst super beings were to take place in a populated city, regular people would die. That's why the invincible title card gets bloodier each episode. Unlike Superman, where he flies around saving every last person because he's just the greatest hero ever, in Invincible, every battle has casualties. The success of the Invincible animation has spawned a million memes and breathed new life into this already mature fandom. Hopefully this proves to the non-creative managerial class in show business, who haven't made a creative decision since third grade finger painting, that there is a huge market for these kinds of animated series. Let's stop remaking the same thing over and over. People are hungry for creative honesty new characters and stories that speak to them, animation that innovates and overthrows the status quo. 
Well, luckily, season two is on the way. If you thought this video was cool, go ahead and give it a like to help me out with the whole algorithm thing. And subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this in the future.